In this tip, I'm gonna show you how to prevent your users from creating what I call a spaghetti chart. It's something with way, way, way too many colors. Here's how you do it. First thing we're gonna do is build the view. Let's right click and drag order dates to the columns. And I'm gonna choose continuous quarters. And let's put sales onto the rows. Now what we see our users doing at times is putting subcategory onto color. And we wanna limit the users to maybe let's say five colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a couple of calculations that will make the view disappear if they pick too many colors. Let's start by creating a new calculated field. And this is going to count the number of colors that are in the view. So I'm gonna call this one the number of colors. And we're gonna use a level of detail expression here. So I'm gonna start with the mustachio and we're gonna do a count distinct of the subcategory and then close off the mustachio. Click on okay. And the next step is to use that calculation to determine if we should make the view disappear or not. So let's create another calculated field. And notice I build this up in a bunch of steps because I want you to be able to reuse them and understand what's going on along the way. So let's call it colors disappear. Our calculation here is gonna be the number of colors. Is that less than or equal to five? And click on okay. And for now, I'm gonna drag that up to the columns so we can see what it's doing. So right now it says false because it's not less than or equal to five. Let's go ahead and show the filter for the subcategory. And as I drill down, so let's say for example, I just choose accessories. Well, that's only one color, but our level of detail expression is still returning false. Well, that's because the fixed level of detail expression is computing before our subcategory filter. So we need to add our subcategory filter to context. Okay, and now it says true like we were hoping for. If I select two, three, four, five, and then as soon as I pick six, this turns to false. Great, so that's exactly what we want. Now we wanna tell the user whether or not they've picked too many colors. So let's create a new calculated field, and we're gonna create a measure that's gonna swap out the field that's on the sales shelf. So let's call this our sales or null. And I'm gonna say if colors disappear, if that's equal to false, that means there's too many colors, then I'm just gonna return null. Otherwise, I'm gonna return sales and then end. Click on okay and let's put that on the rows shelf instead. And now if I pick too many colors, notice that the sheet now goes blank. Perfect, that's what we want. But when it goes blank, we should tell the user why it went blank. So let's create another calculated field. I'm gonna call this one message to user. And this time, again, I'll say if the colors disappear is equal to false, then I wanna return a message that says, choose five subcategories or less. And then otherwise, it's just going to be blank, blank, and then end. Click on OK, and let's drop that onto the detail shelf. And we need it on the detail shelf so that we can use it in the title. We cannot get rid of our colors disappear field on the columns, we don't need that anymore. And in the title, I'm gonna rename this maybe sales by quarter, by subcategory. And then on the second line, I'm gonna add my message. So I'm gonna insert my message to user. Let me fix the spelling here. And I'm gonna maybe make this, uh, let's make it red, and let's make it bold. And maybe we'll make it nice and big too, right? So we'll make it like, you know, 24 points, something like this, something obnoxious. So now when they pick too many colors, they get this nice big message. And that is how I alert my users that they've picked too many colors so that they don't make their charts super messy. Hope you found it useful.